Parker talked about a rash of cautions at the Bristol Motor Speedway near the end, and it has happened. It's bunched up the field one more time with nine laps to go. Control car is a 98 on the outside. That's Todd Gilliland. Noah Gregson to the inside. Here comes Harrison Burton in the 12. And Dave, did you see Noah Gregson trying to anticipate the start there yeah, a little bit? It yeah. got it just burned him a tick. He actually got a good restart considering he tried to go as early as he did. Look at Tyler Ankrum going around the outside and getting into fourth place there in the 17 car. Remember, he has the newest tires of any of these leaders. Resumed the race in 10th after the second race break, and now has driven his way back up to fourth. Reed Lanfer and the 82 of Spencer Davis having a good battle there. But here is Ankrum to the outside. Can he get Burton? Can he get more with just seven laps to go? I don't know if they'll have the time. He just hasn't shown that he's that much faster and how much speed he's going to need to be able to go up there and get the lead, but he's trying to recover as best he can with a really fast car. Ronnie Bassett having a quiet day up to the top 10 now as he gets by in the 0-4. Can he make the pass complete on Lanfer? Looks like he will. And I'm telling you, Bassett's one of the drivers in that points list that's going to be here all season. A good day today could go a long way toward a Pottle Championship for him. No doubt. You just can't give up points in this Whoa. series. It's so competitive. Whoa, that's a major slide right there. Brandon Oakley saves it. Haley Deegan finds a way through on the inside. Here comes Harrison Burton. This is for second. He'll get by. Let's see if Tyler Ankrum can follow suit there to get by Noah Gregson as well. He's right on his bumper. Maybe give him a little bit of that bump and run on your teammate there. It's five laps to go at Bristol. you got to use what you can. Teammates there, but they'll battle for it. Teammates here. The 16 of Kraus, the 19 of Deegan. They're not on the lead. Well, actually, Kraus may be on the lead lap. Deegan's many laps down. Meanwhile, look at the distance now. Gilliland has legged it out. That he has. I'm not sure Harrison Burton has enough to catch him here unless they run into serious traffic. But, my gosh, how many times have we seen these two drivers go at it for the win in a K&N Series race? Isn't it the truth? By the way, back inside the top ten, a couple of interesting battles. Ronnie Bassett still trying to hold on in the top ten. There he is, pushing Spencer Davis through. And on the outside, the wily veteran, the 43, that's Eddie McDonald. He's had a strong day for David Calabrese Racing, and he may finish just outside the top ten before it's over. I love the little push here at Bristol. Maybe even a little bit bump drafting, so to speak, there down in the corner. Not too much the bump and run. Final lap of the race, 150 today, and Todd Gilliland has had the handle at the end. 50th race for him in the K&N Pro Series. This will be his 20th victory. What a record. Todd Gilliland conquers Bristol. And Dave, I'm not surprised from what we've seen out of Todd Gillen over the years. He's a very impressive talent, and that was a very patient win. He waited at times he needed to and went hard when he had to, and that is just what makes Todd Gillen so good. He is definitely a superstar of the future. We mentioned his dad, David, owns this team along with Bo Lamastis. DGR Crosley is the name of the group, and they had three entries here today. They were all spectacular, as was the MDM car of Harrison Burton. Another good run for him. And these young drivers, Parker, it's fun to watch. They're all progressing in the ranks of NASCAR, continuing to put on a show every once in a while in the K&N Pro Series. Today, it was Gilliland again at Bristol. We'll talk to him when we come back to the last great Coliseum. K&N Pro Series racing on NBCSN is brought to you by K&N High Flow Air Filters and Air Intake Systems. Because everyone loves that fast car smell. And they're even faster at Bristol. New track record in qualifying. Race pace extremely quick. And there's Tyler Ankrum. Ankrum wondering, how do I, should we have, well, he almost did. <laughs> it was a great day for him. <laughs> Victory lane belonged to this one again. Let's go down to Derek. Well, the NASCAR k and Pro Series West champion picks up the win here this afternoon at the Bristol Motor Speedway. Marcus Richmond comes in for a congratulations, but it was uh, kind of a drive away at the end of the race, but you really had to fight for it in the first half, didn't you? Yeah, man, this uh, this Mobile One Toyota Camry was super fast. Got to thank every one of my truck guys, Marcus Richmond, um, you know, Mobile One again, man. Everyone that gets us, made this race possible. Um, after New Smyrna, we weren't even planning on running any other K&N races, but then uh, it's a few weeks till Dover, and, and we decided to run this one. So, um, and we've struggled here in the past. So I'm really proud of, uh, of how we ran with battling with Noah Gregson. was a lot of fun, and, um, you know, hopefully uh, we can carry this momentum. I feel like uh, it's always a good thing to work with work with everyone and, and uh, you know, just work through the whole weekend. So I'm um, really proud of everyone at, at DGR. 
uh, DJR Crosley, uh, as well as Mobile One Toyota. So, um, you know, wish we could wish we could run more, but um, no. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Todd Gillen in victory lane once again. Well, certainly a good choice there, Dave, to run this race. But you know what? I wish I did, too, because my next truck race is Dover as well, and I'm going to be going up against that guy. Oh, oh! next year, plan for you, right? Get a K&N ride at Bristol. <laughs> exactly. That's a good idea. Here you look at the top ten. Nice run for Garuben Garcia, Jr. Eddie McDonald made it tonight, so that was a strong run for him. And looking through the rest of the field, typical Bristol Parker. There were a lot of people who were not happy today. A lot of contact and action, as always. Definitely a bit of carnage as we're used to seeing at this place, the world's fastest half mile. Well, the reigning champion had a strong day, Derek. Harrison Burton with a strong second place run this afternoon at the Bristol Motor Speedway. And it looked like Todd Gillen was good on the restarts. Were you having trouble just launching or getting that whole shot? Yeah, we really struggled on short round speed. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but uh, we had a really good car about three laps in. We would start, I think, reeling them in a little bit. But uh, at the end of the race like that, with as much cautions, that's not our strength. So uh, we got to go to work. I got to go to work. I got to get better in, uh, in certain areas. And uh, if I do that, then we'll be in victory lane. Uh, it's uh, disappointing when you, you know you can win and, and you don't win, so uh, got to get, gotta get better. These guys are always working to get better, and, and we got to do the same. So uh, hopefully we'll be back in victory lane. I race Toledo in the Arca car with these guys. Hopefully we'll be in victory lane there, and then uh, I'll be back at Watkins Glen for, for the k and East Series. So uh, hopefully I can win my first road course race. Should be fun. That's your defending k and Pro Series champ, Dave. He comes home in the second spot today. Derek, thanks a lot. And remember when I talked about Ronnie Bassett Jr. and the championship picture? Don't count him out in seventh because all the guys ahead of him, I'm telling you, I've talked to all of them, and I'm not sure that they're going to be here for the entire year. So uh, Bassett, Ryan Vargas in ninth, they've still got an opportunity to go for this championship. Well, Noah Gregson returns to the NASCAR k and Pro Series here to have a little bit of fun today, but you looked a little disappointed, but you still had a good run. Yeah, we had a fast switch, safe out of glass toward the Camry with Dave Gillen racing Crosley. So it's just first, it's all about track position there. And first half, we had the lead and then just got shuffled back after we pitted um, there on the restart and kind of hurt us. And then I don't know, I told the guys to keep it the same, not knowing the track, how the track was going to change. So I guess I take full responsibility for uh, not getting the balance perfect. I just I didn't know how the, the balance was going to change with the race car um, as the race went on. So it's really good there at the beginning, just uh, not quite what we needed there at the end. But just happy for Todd that we got a win within uh, David Gillen Racing Crosley. So uh, pretty close, but not quite there. That's Noah Gregson. He comes home with a podium finish today. And I'm sure Noah's very disappointed, especially having to look there at the winning car in Victor Lane where he felt like he should be after winning the pole. But maybe he learned a little something for the Truck Series race in August.